Hello, math friends. Today we're working on Unit 2, Module 1, Session 4. Show me tens and ones. Our learning target. I can demonstrate an understanding that the digits in a three-digit number represent amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. Today we're going to talk about groups of tens and ones using Unifix cubes. You will need a whiteboard and marker and your student notebook. If you don't have Unifix cubes at home, you can use toothpicks or Q-tips, or you can click on the link so that you can go to the digital Unifix cubes so that you can still show your work. I'm going to show you some groups of Unifix cubes like this, and we're going to work together to fill in the chart on the board. So on your whiteboard, go ahead and make a quick little chart showing tens, ones, and total. How many cubes are in these long trains? That's right, there are 10. How many groups of 10? How many cubes in the whole collection? If on your whiteboard you wrote four tens and seven ones, making 47, you were correct. Let's try another. How many cubes are in these long trains? 10. How many groups of 10? Two. How many cubes in the whole collection? If you did two tens, six ones, and a total of 26, you were correct. All right, how many groups of 10 do you see here? How many cubes in the whole collection? You're getting fast. Two tens and four ones is 24. How many cubes in this whole collection? Yes, five tens, four ones for a total of 54. We can count them 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. Great job. Try this one. Write it on your board. Did you get seven tens, four ones, and 74? High five. Try this one. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and three seventy three. Great job. Try this one. Did you get forty six? You're a rock star. What about this one? Oh, I heard some people just shouting that one out. Twenty four, too easy. Great job. Try this one. 10, 20, 30, and 5, 35. Great job. Oh, if you remembered from the last one, you were just adding 3. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 8. Great job. Now it's your turn. You're going to use the tool that you have to represent a train of 10 and or Unifix cubes and handful of list cubes. You can also use the digital Unifix cubes. So show me 23 cubes. If you're doing this digitally, you're going to have to hit pause because it's going to take you a minute to build this. Did you show me two rows of 10 and three more? If you did, fantastic. Now change your number to 43. How many of you found it easier to have a bunch of trains that are made of 10? Then you just have four tens and three more. Show me 53. Some of you were super fast. Did you add another 10? Good job, five tens and three. Show me 33. Nice, you just took away two, fantastic. Show me 31. All right, three groups of 10 and one. Show me 40. Oh my goodness, so fast. Four groups of 10, super job. Show me 19. Great, one group of 10. And then you snap one off for one other group of nine. Show me 45. 
You're going to be a master. Four groups of ten and five more. Now I want you to show me 45 with a different arrangement of cubes. Instead of showing four groups of ten and five ones, can you show me 45 in another form? A form that uses a different number of groups of ten. So a different configuration. This one's going to take a little thinking. Hmm. I saw somebody show me 15 as singles. So you have 15 and three groups of 10, which still equals 45. Great job. Let's try that again. Can you show me 34 with a different arrangement of cubes? Now you're catching on. We have 14 individual cubes and two more groups of 10. Can you show me 21 with a different arrangement of cubes? Ah, now you're getting faster. Good job. We have 11 single cubes and a group of 10. Fantastic. I need you to open your student books to page 14 and 15. In your student books, you're going to work through each problem. Look at the examples. The first one is 42. They have circled four groups and two more. 42. I need to show two other ways to make 42. I can show two groups of 10 and 22 ones. That also equals 42. And I can do three groups of 10 and 12 ones, which also equals 42. You're going to work on 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. For number 1, you're going to show me three different ways to make 33. Circle the groups, and then write how many 10s and how many 1s. Repeat that for number 2, number 3, and number four. Number five and six is a little bit different. You're going to write how many tens, how many ones, and what is the total that they are showing you. When you are complete, if you've got some time, you may do workplaces. Great job today.